Hi guys, it's your girl Jada Jonade. I'm back with another video and today we're going to have a review on this Wiggins hair wig. This is a 30 inch pre-highlighted wig, baby. Pre-highlighted wig. <laughs> this wig came just like this. Y'all know Wiggins is one of my favorite, favorite companies ever. Now, I'm not going to show y'all how I got this style because I did, um, was just playing in my hair. I have a bad habit of not really showing the finished products when I'm recording. So I tend to go a couple days and then come back and sh shoot my intro and my outro. So with that being said, I will be doing this style on Valentine's Day or in the near future. So I will definitely be having a tutorial on this look, but I'm not even gonna ramble too much y'all. Let's go ahead and get into the install. Okay, so starting out, I just have on my bob cap. Updated bob cap method coming soon because I have a new method. My bob cap stay like and never come up. So this is me just cutting my bob cap um, off. And I put a little powder foundation on it just to give it a little tint. But it doesn't have to like, you don't have to overdo it. And so I tie my cap in the back once I cut it off. I don't, I got to turn around and show y'all one day. But I just tie it together. And this is me. I got smaller scissors because y'all be clowning me in the comments when companies post me, baby. And I'm not here for it. They're shears. The other scissors I use are barber shears, but it's all the same thing. So you're going to get your alcohol. You're going to clean your perimeter of your, of your head and just make sure you don't have no makeup or just leftover just residue. So here's me trying the wig on, seeing if it fits, seeing if I need to customize it or cut it anymore. And as y'all see, this wig is flawless. This color is so beautiful and so subtle. Like, yes. And y'all, this wig comes with two inches on the side or maybe like one inch. And, you know, they kind of finesse you with that because you really want a full 13 by 4. So just keep that in mind when you're ordering this wig that it's in the sides is super duper short lace so like if you want like a side part you're not gonna have any space at all but besides that this wig is beautiful the color is beautiful everything i did add a little color to it but it didn't really take i tried to put like a brown dot in it but it really didn't take honestly like i tried to make it a little bright caramel brown but it didn't work so yeah it did tint it a little bit as y'all can see it's a little more brown but this wig came just like this literally so y'all see i just cut my hair with my um lace into four sections i'm using ghost bond xl as always there's no other way to do it i don't rely on any other glue but yeah i'm just going in with a layer of glue and yeah that's just what y'all see i'm going to smooth it out with my popsicle stick and i'm going to do two layers this time um and yeah So once you spread out that glue, you just want to blow dry it on the cool and the heat setting. I alternate between cool and heat. Um, you don't do it consistently with cool. You don't do it consistently with heat. But every now and again, I switch it to heat or to cool. But hear me going in with my second layer. And I kind of OD like hella. So um, when y'all see me smoothing it out, I'm just going to be wiping some of it off onto a napkin. Because I really OD. Like I put too much damn glue. Like too damn much. So once you get your second layer down, you're going to actually pull it forward. Y'all really can't see what I'm doing, but I actually found a better angle to record from so y'all can see me from the front. So in future installs, y'all will be definitely getting a better angle because I know I'd be kind of turned towards the mirror, but that's because I got to see what I'm doing. So you're just going to pull it into the glue and comb it in, making it, you know, basically just melt in. And that's what y'all see me doing, blow drying, just getting it melted in to that glue and your skin and just making it like a scalp uh, there's really not much to this process you're literally just laying it into the glue So 
right here, I'm just fixing my part a little bit because once it got on my head, actually the part wasn't fully straight. But yeah, that's just what y'all see me doing. And I'm going blow drying that lace before I cut it off just to make sure. Blow drying, blow drying, blow drying. Like that's the key, major key. Like you gotta do that. Can we take a moment to acknowledge how silky this hair is? I think it's because I used a serum. Like, I never use serum when I flat iron my wigs, but baby, that was it, literally. So what I'm going doing now is applying glue to areas that I may have missed. It's always good to apply less than more um, because you can always go in and add some later on. So that's what y'all see me doing, just applying a little more glue on the sides because I didn't completely have my angle right, so I didn't put the glue right there. But back to the hair. That hair is so silky, y'all. And I did get some new babyless flat iron, so I don't know if that's what, you know, in com combination helped, but this hair is beautiful, like beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so I didn't record me taking the lace off. Um, I don't know why I didn't record that part. I don't know where the footage went or why the camera wasn't on. But all I did was cut at an angle and like cut zigzag to make it look more scalp. And y'all, this wig, oh my God, the lace, everything. Oh, bon appetit, so beautiful. Well, not bon appetit, but chef's kiss, whatever. Whatever they be saying. Anyways, 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 anyways. I'm about to apply that elastic band. I never can get that elastic band on the first try. But anyways, I decided to go ahead and pull my baby hairs out because that's what I see hairstylists do. Um, so I'm just uh, parting my baby hairs out and deciding how I want them to look and how thick and all that different stuff before I put the elastic band on it. And that's just going to help to further melt that lace, baby. You're not even going to be able to tell. It's not even going to be distinctive. Like, you, this is this way with scalp seriously like this is one of my best yet um but yes i'm just hot combing that hair down and applying something to make it lay down and yes that's just what y'all see me doing but i'm gonna do this for all my baby hairs and then i'm gonna put the elastic band on So eventually I put the elastic band on and I just let it sit for like 30 minutes. So this is the finished product. I'm about to cut it off. But yeah, just let it sit for 30, 40 minutes. You can do up to an hour. Well, I wouldn't say do it an hour. I say 20 to 30 minutes if you can tolerate it. Do it as long as you can because it's going to help with the meltdown. But this is just me going in for my baby hairs. Some baby hairs need to be plucked a little bit. I don't like super duper thick baby hairs. So I'm going in and plucking them just a tiny drop just to make them be a little better. Um, and look, <laughs> mama's like, this, that's a scalp. But yes, I seen Arrogant Tay curl his edges before he did some on edges. And I'm telling y'all, it makes uh, all the freaking difference. If you can, curl your edges before you lay them and you will see the difference so serious but um i think i'm liking my new plucking technique i'm gonna have a tutorial out it's not like a super duper over plucked look but it's a very natural pluck and i'm thinking i'm liking that better than i used to be into the over pluck look but i'm kind of over it but um yeah that's just what y'all see me doing always blow dry your edges as you go um i like the soft baby hair look but i don't quite have it down pack yet so i just been doing what i do and just having like the you know regular baby hairs and i like them too but whatever but yeah that's just what y'all see me doing laying these edges getting them right getting them tight and yes i am using got to be gel the black bottle 
and blow drying after I swoop. down to the sideburns i definitely jacked this up i don't know why i thought this was cute but over time i did uh shorten them uh because that was very ugly very ugly and i thought it was cute at the moment but looking back at it it wasn't it i tried to do like how eric and tay do when they like curl up but it was too thin it wasn't that thick so it looked it really really stupid and i did end up cutting it um after a while so yeah just don't don't come for me because y'all like to come for people but yeah that's what y'all see me doing and it's it's a scalp it's a scalp baby it's a scalp i gotta do my lashes i feel like a brand new i don't know i'm gonna get it up It's okay. Like I said, it didn't change that much. It is a little more brown than it was. But... But yes, y'all, this is the finished product. This wig was beautiful. Beautiful. I will be wearing this wig in the future. Like, this is going to be my wig. But yes, y'all, thanks for watching. I love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe if you like what you've seen. And I'll see you in the next one.